What is up, y'all? Skylar of Hail the Scales. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the first couple videos. The likes, the shares, the subscribes, showing the Instagram page some love, getting the follows up. You guys are awesome. You guys are giving me some more uh, confidence to make some videos because I've been scared to do this for a while. So thank you guys very much. In tonight's video, I'm going to be diving a little bit deeper into my Poplin Carpet Collection, showing you a couple of the snakes I got, how absolutely beautiful they are, and you will see why I'm obsessed with them. So let's get into the video. Hope you guys like it. So right here, we have a very beautiful snake. He is what you can consider a pride of joy. This is a male from Nick Mutton. He considered a reduced pattern poplin, but it just comes from an extensive line of beautiful snakes, line bred for striping and high yellows and bold patterning. And he's got all of it. This snake is what all poplin carpet enthusiasts want to see. He's got the beautiful yellow chain going down his back with the high contrast black on the yellow and cream color. Absolutely beautiful head stamp. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, sorry, bye bye. The oranges on his, the flaming is beautiful. I mean, this guy is, and you can see he is tame as. And I don't mess with these my snakes a lot, you know. I take them out every once in a while for, well, once in a while. They get brought out all the time for cleaning, but actually taking them out and handling like this isn't very often. I don't want to stress them out too much. Get back up here, big boy. You're getting distressed. So here's one of the snakes. We'll put him back in his cage and I'll show you another one. But here's one example of a beautiful poplin carpet python. And this would be considered like I said, one of Nick Mutton's reduced pattern lines or high yellow, bold pattern line carpets. So here's one of those examples. Right here, we have another absolutely stunning example of a carpet python. Now this is the only morph that I keep. This is a granite poplin carpet python. And this is from Roy Stewart of Tierra de Morelia in Tampa, Florida here. You guys should check him out on uh, Morph Market or Instagram. I'll put his tag down in the description as long as uh, well as I'll put Nick Muttons down there. But man, this guy is absolutely stunning. I'm trying to get a good, so you can see, he almost has like a little striping in the granite pattern on his back. And his head stamp is just Bang and dark black and yellow. Look at that nose, I love it. And he he's just awesome, his gray. He's like a slate gray. His main color is slate gray with just the highlighter yellow and then black speckling. Absolutely stunning animal. Look at that gray. I love the gray, that gray with that black. Oh my gosh. He's, this, he's a shy guy, so. You can tell he doesn't want to move much. Come on, Bubba, I know I'm showing you off. I feel bad. I don't like to stress my snakes out too much, you guys, so. But look at this thing. Look at this. So yeah. Roy Stewart, check him out. Awesome Morelia breeder. Very cool guy. I met up with him in person. Super cool guy. So he's getting a little fidgety now. All my carpets do this. I got long arm hair, and every time their pits hit it, they freak out. Okay, big boy. All right, so yeah, here's another example of a really beautiful carpet python. This is the granite morph, like I said. And we'll check out the next snake, you guys. Look at that beautiful snake. See how I was saying it has like a stripe to him? Super awesome. So right here is one of my favorite female raise-ups in my collection. This is the sister to Tora, who was in the last video. 
and she is just another great example of a possible double head for Granite and Exampic, which these two females will be future breeders for the Granite male that I showed you. And man, look at that snake. You can easily see why these poplin carpets are my favorite snake. Look at how beautiful they are. The golds and yellows and burnt oranges and the cream pattern with the dark black contrast. It doesn't get much better. And then that awesome, just white speckled belly. And look at the disposition on all these snakes, you guys. I rarely hold these snakes like this and they are just tolerant as heck. They're not biting the heck out of me. Look at, oh, I wanna show you guys this girl's head stamp. She has a very awesome, cool, unique head stamp that I did notice a lot of other people on Instagram posting their heads. They have a blushed out head stamp a little bit. I don't know if you can see it at the very top of the head stamp, it starts to blush out into color. She's not gonna stop moving. Oh, a little bit. But yeah, she's just super awesome. But here's another example, sorry. Getting a little out of frame. One more example of a beautiful Papawin carpet python. Look at those oranges and yellows, man. Beautiful snake. So like I said, this is a clutch mate to Tora, who you guys saw in the last video. And this is Kaya, her name is Kaya. So those are the two sisters I have. And you saw the first um, clip was the male that I got from Nick Mutton. Those are the three snakes I got from him and the male's name is Banshee. So we'll put her back and I'll show you guys one or two more snakes. So there you go. All right, you guys. So this big girl is out cruising. So I figured I'd just go ahead and let her out and show you really quick. This is my big 2017 female. She's a farm hatch. She was brought in by DM Exotics, Dan Maleri. And you can, oh, you can see she is big and robust. We've been, I don't know if you can see the iridescence. She's just shining in here right now. But this is usually about general size of how big these poplin carpets get as adults. This girl is almost four years old. Absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, they carry all of those beautiful colors into adulthood. And this girl is just a stunning example of a wild type hop woman. She is absolutely beautiful. I don't want to mess with her too much because any kind of stress is going to be bad for her since I want her to go into a breeding season this coming up, 22 season. So we'll make it a brief little showing of her. I'm gonna put her back in her cage. But yeah, tell me this isn't one beautiful, stunning example of a poplin carpet I found you guys. Look at that beautiful snake. Look at those colors. All right, we'll put her back and show you guys one more snake. Now this little gem right here I am so excited and anxious to watch grow. This beautiful little girl right here is from Stephen Katz, a very, very well-known carpets python breeder. He breeds some other snakes, but he's well-known for his carpets, his jungles mainly. But this girl right here hails from an absolutely stunning pair of field collected um, animals. And she carries some heavy traits from her mother with this very black, black mask. And she's got some dark banding around her eyes. She's only a year old, a little over a year old. Absolutely stunning snake. I'm trying to get some good lighting on this girl. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to watch her grow. She is going into a shed cycle right now. But Stephen Katz, SBK Reptiles, I'll put his tag in the description. If you guys like carpet pythons, you need to check him out. His jungles are off the charts. 
the yellow when uh, fish netting in him is awesome, but look at these poplin carpets that he produces. These things are addictive. Look at this snake, you guys. Look at that black mass that I'm talking about. Let me try to get this camera to focus on that. That thing is beautiful and she's tiny. The bigger she gets, the better it'll get. I can't wait. And look at those dark, dark, dark back colors. So awesome. So awesome. But all right, I'm gonna put her away, you guys. That's, that's a couple more snakes. A little closer look into the collection of poplin carpets. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as me. I know a lot of you guys out there just look at YouTube videos to look at snakes. I know I do. Just pulling those snakes out got me hyped. I love looking at these snakes. I can't believe this is my own personal collection. It didn't happen overnight, I can tell you that. It took a long time to build, but man, these snakes are awesome, you guys. I cannot wait to watch a lot of them grow. I cannot wait to hopefully see this big female that we just showed make some eggs, hopefully make some beautiful babies. Oh my gosh, did you see her? Can you imagine her offspring? Those things would be insane, you guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be dropping another video this weekend. I'm gonna show you guys a little pet that I got that I don't know if I've mentioned. It's got an outdoor enclosure that's pretty big. I'm pretty sure a human could live in it. But um, yeah, we'll show you guys that. And I hope you like this video. Check out the Instagram, hail underscore the scales. Like, subscribe, share. Give me some feedback. I hope you guys like the videos and I'll see you next time.